Hey everybody, and welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz. Jack and Letty are still at Lake Jackson. We're doing the whole COVID social distancing thing because we don't want to be anybody sick and we're trying to keep it all down. So I'm doing this out of my apartment and my kitchen. So excuse the mess and the nerditry on the walls. Uh, and my lack of outfit. I miss my hat. I miss my chef hat. I really do. Uh, <laughs> so that's the thing that happens. Uh, today we're going to do something that I always try to do when uh, I was cooking with Jack, but he believes that turkey burgers are blasphemy. So I'm going to go ahead and do it while I'm here. It's a quick thing. I've done it before. It's really good. Uh, this is just like the most basic way. I'm not going to teach you how to dress a burger or whatever. Like you grown ass people, you should know how to have burger, what you like on your burger and that kind of stuff. But this is how to cook the, the, the turkey burger meat stuff. Before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Do all the YouTube -y things, ring the little bell so you get notifications when we upload these things on Tuesdays and Fridays, is what we're trying to do with COVID's guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, super simple. Uh, this is all you're gonna need. You're gonna need some uh, ground turkey, right? You want to make it nice and thawed out, you don't want it solid. You're gonna need some saltines, like five or six, just a little bit of them. Some of this ranch seasoning, it's a dry powder mix, and some bread. Man, I'm using this, uh, the wheat buns. Super simple. That's all we got. So get you a bowl. Oh, and you might need a little butter. I'll get onto that in a minute. So get your bowl. Doesn't have to be this big. Just get you a little one, right? And you're gonna get those crackers. Like I said, you're gonna get about six of them. You need to smash them up, break them up as small as you can. You don't want big hunks of this kind of stuff. So kind of break them down with your hand. Don't want to lose too much of them. So I got the little pestle. Yeah, it's not the mortar part. Yeah, the pestle. And I just beat the living crap out of it in here. Like it's not what it's made for, but it's what I did. Just. Beat it down to these little bitty pieces, right? You don't want great big pieces up because you're going to mix this into the meat, right? Turkey's got like a... It's not as thick or as... I guess the word would be congealing, as sexy as that sounds, as hamburger meat so it doesn't stick and it kind of breaks apart really easy. So if you put that bread in there, it helps break it down, right? Or hold it together, not break it down, sorry. So go ahead and put your turkey as sexy as that is this is just unappetizing until it's cooked trust me it's, it's really good so just kind of break this down while it's in there and then put your ranch in it now how i did it i did about three quarters of the ranch here just because i didn't want it all just giant wads of ranch that's in there you can use liquid stuff but i don't know the measurements so i just use one of these packages right per one pound chub of uh, turkey put it in there now you got to get your hands in here so best way to do this is turn it and then squeeze it Turn it and squeeze it. And as long as you're just grinding it down into the stuff that's at the base of that bowl, it'll pick it up, and as you're squeezing it, it mixes it around, right? Turn it, squeeze it, turn it, squeeze it. That's the best way to do it. Just keep doing it over and over. And you'll notice when you start picking it up, and it's picking up everything off the bottom, mixing it into the meat. That's what you want. You don't want it too much. Now, once you get it all done in there, you'll see it where it's not anything left on the bottom of the bowl. It's all in the meat. Then I added the rest of the ranch stuff in just to make sure that I got it all. You can see it's kind of clean. There's nothing in there. There's nothing on the outside. There's not big chunks of it. So what I went ahead and put the last of that ranch right on top of it and just did it again. Squeeze and turn. Squeeze and turn. Now, I know this is going to turn Jack's stomach, A, because it's a turkey, and B, because I'm touching the front meat, but that's how you do it. So I got a skillet. I got my small one this time. Uh, put it on about medium to medium low. You want this low. Now, this is a butter. Um turkey doesn't have the grease in it that burger does which is healthier for you but it sticks so i use one tablespoon of butter to just kind of put a little bit down at the bottom to keep it from sticking while you cook but you want it real low so it'll cook all the way through you don't want to cook just the bottom of it and leave the inside like raw right so when it comes to making your patties i just turn and smack this is a lot of repetition put it down to that ocd just like smacking and slapping and stuff i watched uh uh, the Frasier on the show Frasier just sitting around slapping this hamburger patty for forever and I couldn't figure it out so you just make a ball and they just slap and turn slap and turn and it compresses that meat together where it sticks together a lot better right so the cracker helps in there the, and the other cracker Frasier he helps out too then take it and just put it right down to your grease just make all of them now this should have made four but I made one real big one that's my big fat guy turkey burger in there and after about four and a half minutes You'll see it is starting to brown on the outside of the bottom. Don't worry about it too much. You want to make sure press your burger just a little bit. Make sure the edges are getting down there close. It's it's not like uh, like something that, like chicken that you want to flip around. Make sure it's fitting closely. You want to let it sit. You don't want to keep flipping it over and over. Don't do that. So just let it sit in there. You know, cook it about half and then flip it over. Don't worry. Like you like this one. This one flipped perfectly. It's nice and brown. It's cooked on that side. We're gonna flip it over and let the other side. Down. If you flip it over and it kind of breaks apart of the top, the turkey does that because it just doesn't stick. The burger does that if you if you do it too much. So 
don't worry about it if it kind of breaks apart it'll still stick together man just let it keep cooking like i said this one's got that crack in it right there uh it's not that big a deal it, it's like meat jello it'll just mold right back to each other which that doesn't sound overly appetizing but like i said just take it and turn it nice and bright on that side now remember it's not going to go all gray and red on the inside because this is white meat so it's going to turn out like white and then gray once it's cooked right because it's mostly dark meat that they put in the ground stuff all right so don't worry about it if it's a little thicker you're gonna let it go so this went for about uh four to five minutes per side even the big fat one took a little bit now i told you i wasn't going to show you how to dress it but this is i'm just going to show you the basic what i do i use my wheat bun because i'm being healthy i got my honey dijon mustard just a little bit on one of these i didn't put it on both my light mayo because i can that's on both of them and then the other one just because i can i put a little bit of just straight horseradish sauce right that's on one side lettuce on one and the other one i put cilantro and green onion that absolutely just goes great with it this tastes great if you do it man let me know this is great and it made enough for two and a half three meals depends on if you're a fat guy or just one meal of at least four people and cost like i think maybe like five bucks so this is great so holy crap there we go man that's like ranch turkey burger it's great it's like very much more healthy for you than like a regular burger uh it's not everybody's thing and i get that man like but if you try it let me know what you think man uh, if you don't like it tell me why man put it down in the comments let us know man i'm interested in what y'all think y'all do it but y'all do it differently let me know man i want to hear from you guys Speaking of which, you can find us on Facebook at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen, also Pinterest and Patreon if you want to help us out over there. We very much appreciate it. You can always find us on uh, Instagram over at Living Between on Instagram. It's shortened on that side. And you can always find us here on YouTube Tuesdays or Fridays as often as we can because of the COVID stuff, man. And I will see you all next time.